Hey guys, today your favorite topic, the driver. So today I'm gonna give you a few hacks for your driver to hit it a little straighter or less slicier. And um, yeah, just to have, you have a little bit more success on the course and finding the fairways. So <clears throat> mainly the hacks are actually happening in a dress position. So, you know, I say this is a mistake most, like a really high number, 90% are doing, they're looking at the ball, why uh, they are addressing the ball. So now you, maybe you can see it from this side a little bit better. Once I really turn my sternum and my look onto the ball, what is happening? First of all, the shoulder is going a little bit, you know, it's, it's, it's not really up anymore. It's, it's turning to the left, it's open and everything is getting steeper. The low point is gonna be further left. So really be cautious how your sternum is at address. So because you wanna be always in the center of your stance. I've already given you that information on another video about irons and driver, but this is so important that I keep on repeating it. So you wanna stand in the middle of your stance with your sternum, with your nose for the beginning, I'm gonna to come to that point later. And so if you if you make that, you're already behind the ball. You already you, you're set. You just wanna stay here. You don't wanna go over there. You don't wanna look onto the ball. If you wanna look onto the ball, you take the, the head a little bit like this instead of turning it onto the ball. So putting the sternum in the center of your stance. Then secondly. I can watch a lot of golfers are struggling how they are creating the tilt if they, you know, if they're struggling by by hitting too steep onto the ball, by having the low 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 point too far to the left or to the right for the for the left handers, of course. Um, so they're really hanging back. Pay attention because your low point is also going back. And you know, it shouldn't be too far because what is happening if you're too far hanging back, you're either hitting the ground if you stay there or you're doing the other extreme again and that it, it doesn't get you anywhere, right? So the little help you could do is just place the club face in the middle of your stance. And just that little bit you have left to the ball, you do in terms of a tilt. So. The way the club face goes to the ball should not be a turn, it should be that little tilt. So you are already hanging back a little bit more now and that will help you to get the ball more into that from down upwards movement instead of down towards the ball. So for me, you know, like I'm struggling with having a, you know, too flat angle of attack with the driver. I'm hanging back a little bit. I should not do that at all. If you're coming into the ball too flat and if you're really more into the hooking um, shape whatever don't hang back you don't want to stay too far back there you really want to stand a little bit straighter but mostly let's say 80 percent of the golfers are fighting the, the slice so this could actually help you to get the ball more into the air by hitting up towards the ball okay so this is another tool i can give you against the slice um, yeah this tilt then straightening your arms. Sometimes I see golfers um, with really loose arms and you know, I don't have anything against looseness. You know, you shouldn't be too tense. But in my opinion, you know, it, the golf swing has something to do with power. You don't, you wanna have some kind of tension and um, you don't have to over straightening your arms, but get some tension in your arms. And for me, if I straightening my arms towards the ground or, you know, just, get them a little bit more into attention, then the arms get straighter. So don't, you know, get some angles. So don't stand like that at the ball. Really straighten your arms because then you also can keep the width much, much better if you have a certain tension in your arms right from the beginning. So we already have three things. We have the sternum, we have to, the tilt and straightening their arms. Then we have the takeaway. So. If you're struggling with skying the ball, with coming too, too much from the outside, too steep to the ball, little tip for you guys, just really try to keep that club in the takeaway as low as it can be. So really, you know, you don't have to pet the grass, but you can, you know, think that the 
the, the club stays low, so flat. You want to have a flatter swing than with a wedge when it goes up because there you want to have a steeper angle of attack as well, right? But of course, just by bending over is creating a much steeper angle. But nevertheless, just really try to stay low around you. Here again, for the hookers, for the ones who are too flat anyway, hanging back, don't do that. This is a tip again for the slicers and for the steeper ones, which is the higher number, right? So we have four points. So the last one is actually a little tip for you guys in the follow through. So uh, just lately I was talking about how you actually can create speed through the ball and um, for me, a straightening up that left side, straightening up that left leg. You know, if you watch it from this angle, you know, just by straightening the leg, you can see my hip is going backwards. Of course, you have to rotate as well a little bit because of this function here, but just by straightening the leg, the hip will clear better and you can create much more speed. You have to imagine when you're coming from a squat, if you jump up, you're creating speed. And this is why sometimes coaches also talk about squats because you want to stay deep and then you jump up and this is a creation of speed. So now finally I do a, a swing for you. I'm just taking care of all I'm just, I'm just saying or I just told you. So club face, I for myself, I don't want to hang that far back. Ball is left of my low point, so I can stay here. So I'm paying attention mostly of the straightening that left side. And you can see my left leg and my left shoulder is super straight and it's super up. And this is how I, as a really small girl, can create some speed and some distance as well. So watch great players with a good distance, how they're actually really exploding and straightening the left side. This is a very, very good tip. Don't overdo it because too much is never great. Just try it first. So now, I really, really hope I could help you a little bit with your driver. I know you guys, or so many of you guys are struggling, are struggling with the driver. It is such a nice club. You know, just give it some credit. Just follow my instructions a little bit. Just let me know if it works for you. Just write it, a comment underneath that video. Um, if you like the channel, put a thumbs up and subscribe, of course. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, get some fitness tips, you can do that too, of course. So now have fun practicing and a lot of success on the course. Bye.